And I'm back for your Divi mid-month update. You know last video I told you guys I would be back mid-month. And what day is it? Almost mid-month. So here I am, and it's time to jump right in because we have a lot to talk about. And I know you guys are busy people, don't want to take up your whole nights. First of all, you know I also like to start with metrics. Metrics have been astounding recently, actually far beyond expectations, especially this soon. I'm telling you, I mean, I never in a million years thought that we would get to where we are today this quickly. To see a over $100 million market cap for, for Divi, for the coin that me and Jeff and the team created over just three years. It's just absolutely astounding. And I really cannot thank you guys enough for all the support and for just believing in the fact that masternodes, staking nodes, and cryptocurrency in general are really, truly the answer to essentially all of the economic problems that we're starting to see around the world. Not just in the US, this is happening worldwide. I mean, obviously we have the coronavirus pandemic that's still going on, still absolutely ravaging the United States. However you feel about it, it's happening. Places are shutting down, people are losing their jobs. It's a really, really difficult time for the majority of the country. And it's a really, really scary time for the majority of the country. But you can see that more and more people are now realizing that having this additional source of income, having a basically a safety net in cryptocurrency, which has really established itself as an asset class now, a, a legitimate asset class. I mean, it's in pensions. It's in really major hedge fund portfolios. It's not just, you know, a scam. It's not just uh, a way for criminals to move money around anonymously or whatever. None of that stuff really rings true at all anymore. It really is the next generation of finance. And you've discovered it at a time where it's really benefiting your life. And it's really benefiting my life and everyone, not just in Divi. I mean, look at the market right now. It is massively alt season. People are making insane amounts of money. Just wealth is being generated and reallocated all over the world. It is an incredible thing to watch. And it is an incredible thing to watch your own project do that. To, to just look at the growth since my last video, which was just 17 days ago, 16 days ago, I guess, uh, at the time that you'll watch this, we're already at you know, seven and a half cents, hundred and some million dollar market cap. We have 10,200 beta wallet signups. It's huge. We have almost 1,400 masternodes deployed, which means this isn't just random people buying. This is people coming into the ecosystem and actually supporting the network and wanting to generate that active income with their masternodes and staking nodes. It is a real, real thing that has grown organically. I had somebody the other day tell me, and this was, a, this was like a really respectable person, and I, it humbled me to hear him say this. Divi is my favorite project because it is one of the few cryptocurrencies in which not just the founders were enriched by the project, but actually the community and the communities they serve were enriched. And that, that just, oh my God. It, it means so much to hear that you, you, you affected someone's life in any way. Uh, so anyway, enough about the numbers. You guys already know that they have been absolutely astounding this month. Let's move on to some of the more meaty updates. So I don't really know where to start. I'm going to go off my notes, which I always have a notebook with me when I do these videos. There are a lot of things, but they don't necessarily all flow together. I'm just going to go and talk about the things that I think are the coolest first. First of all, this coin that is sort of exploding right now called Zap. You guys got to check this out. It's an Oracle um, it's an Oracle protocol similar to Chainlink. An Oracle is a basically a way for the blockchain to access the outside world, so to speak, and get, say, price data from an API uh, or other data that a blockchain would not normally be able to access. That's what Oracles do. That's why Chainlink became so huge because it's something that every blockchain, especially Ethereum, which has smart contracts, needs. Zap is a pretty new-ish protocol. It's been around for a little while, but it is actually a pretty cool project. Now, I'm not going to dive super deep into Zap. I might do another video on Zap later. Go check them out because we've been talking to them. And what they are considering doing is basically like a wrapped Divi. Now, you may have heard about the wrapped Bitcoin on Ethereum. It's really cool. It's basically a way for Bitcoin to become a part of the DeFi ecosystem and part of the Ethereum ecosystem. 
they want to do the same thing with Divi. We're thinking about calling it eDivi or something like that, where we could actually have a basically one-to-one -one coin on, on the Ethereum blockchain, an ERC-20, that allows us to be on the ERC-20 DEXs, participate in DeFi uh, software, and really expand the ecosystem in a way that we otherwise wouldn't be able to because our blockchain is UTXO-based. It's kind of like Bitcoin. This is, could be a huge partnership for us. We're still in the early stages of this, but I'm really excited about it, and that's why I'm talking about it first because there are a lot of incredible people behind this project. I really urge you to go check it out. They're actually killing it right now, even though they've been kind of flat for a long time. So don't just base it on the chart on CoinMarketCap. Actually dig into the project. I think you'll be pretty pleased. It's really cool. We did uh, just launch a USDT pair on Bitru. So this is just a new pair on our biggest exchange. Um, really, really excited because USDT is a, probably the second or third most utilized transaction token in the entire cryptocurrency space. Yeah, they have some, you know, weird things going on and some uncertainty around the project, but nevertheless, it is still one of the most used tokens on earth. Provides a lot more liquidity for our users and provides just a new trading pair on a venue that people really seem to enjoy trading Divi on. So this one's kind of cool. The University of Calgary's master's program reached out to one of our blockchain developers, and he actually went to the University of Calgary in Canada. And basically once a year, they work with a company called PINS in order to connect grad students uh, with experts, subject matter experts, usually a professor from the University of Calgary and a sort of a, a mentor from the from the business world, somebody who's actually applying the science uh, or the technology in the real world. What the companies do uh, is basically create some sort of proposal to access this program. So they reached out to us and asked us if we wanted to do a blockchain one, which of course we, we did because uh, our, our developer is super ecstatic about his university and about blockchain technology. So we are really excited because we just got accepted to this program and we are linked up with this incredibly badass blockchain expert from the University of Calgary, whose name will be right here. Basically what we're going to do is work with these grad students alongside the subject matter expert and alongside our lead developer to try to solve the problem of blockchain compression, which a lot of chains have tried different implementations to solve this problem where blockchains become really big, right? You have to keep this full copy of the entire blockchain. Every node in the ecosystem has to keep an entire copy of the entire blockchain. It's really bloated over time. I mean, try to download a Bitcoin node. It's going to take you weeks <laughs> if you're lucky. So, you know, uh, Ethereum has proposed sharding. EOS has the 21 block producers that hold the, the copies of the blockchain. None of these solutions are really perfect. So we proposed that we would try to research and develop a solution for blockchain compression. They accepted us to the program and that starts in a couple of weeks. If we're successful in actually creating a software or technology that can compress a blockchain and make uh, any device or enable any device to actually hold a smaller version but a full copy still of the blockchain, it could be groundbreaking and it could really help a lot of the blockchains out there in this cryptocurrency ecosystem. With Divi's FinTech, we actually just completed a pretty cool and big piece of the puzzle. It's essentially an automated system that allows for transaction alerts. So we can set up subscriptions now, we can set up uh, notifications that you've received money pretty much all of the expected technologies that you have in your traditional banking applications um, or you know challenger bank apps like Cash App and things like that. Really excited about that because it's a big step forward for the FinTech and it's a big step forward for the Divi app. On WhatsApp, we just got tier four approval in our channel partnership, which allows us to do basically like rich media messaging. So we can create a very beautiful UI within WhatsApp so instead of just seeing, you know, text-based messages in the DiviGo bot, you'll actually see, you know, video, imagery, things that make it just a lot more fun and easy to use and make the experience just that much better. We're really excited because each tier that we move up in this channel partnership allows us more and more opportunities to create awesome technology for the users. And we've seen incredible adoption of DiviGo already. And really surprisingly, 
because it's, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe I shouldn't be surprised. It is really cool, but I just, I don't know. I didn't expect so many people to adopt it so quickly. That said, we are working really hard to improve Divi Go. We did just publish a blog about it a couple of weeks ago. I'll link it in the description below. Give it a look if you haven't already. So that's pretty much it for this mid-month update. Um, I do want to actually announce one more thing. I want to do more videos. As you can see, the setup that we've been using has changed quite a bit since we started doing these videos. And now I actually have my own setup in our house. I still have Frisco here doing the video, helping me out with the production because I'm not a video guy, but I have everything set up so that I can actually do full live streaming videos, my own videos right here at my desk that I work at every single day. So what I want to do for you guys is basically instead of the Friday blog updates is go live at five every single Friday until we launch the app. So that's my pledge. I'm going to go live at five, 5 p.m. PST Pacific time every single Friday until we launch the app, except the 31st. I will be out of town on the 31st, but I promise every other Friday except for that one, I will go live at five and instead of a blog, we'll just talk. We'll chat, I'll have the live chat up. I can show you guys updated uh, app screenshots and, uh, and demo the app a little bit as it gets more developed. I have the whole setup. Frisco showed me everything, how to, how to do the full live stream. I can do it to Facebook and YouTube and all the different platforms. And, and it's really cool, it works really well. We'll be testing it out a little bit more before we, we get started. Um, of course, this video is coming out on a Friday, so we'll start the following Friday. I'm really excited because it gives me an opportunity to connect with you guys more as a community and it gives me an opportunity to give you just more updates off the cuff. It doesn't have, require so much static text and I think people like videos more. I mean, I do, so I'm sure other people do too. Also, we're going to announce a new exchange listing next month. See you.